Now we're going to talk about the parts of your flute. Your flute and your body have a lot in common. You have a head. Your flute also has a head joint. You have a body. Your flute also has a body. And finally, you have feet. Your, foot, your flute also has a foot. So we're going to start from the top down, meaning we're going to start with the head joint today. This is your flute head joint. Now, we're going to talk about the individual parts of the head joint, starting with this right here. This top piece is called your crown. I want you to avoid playing with it and messing with it. This crown can adjust the tuning of your instrument by moving a cork inside the head joint. I'm going to show you where that is. Please do not unscrew yours. Okay. So you see down in there, there is a cork that lives inside the head joint right in here, and that is movable. And so this crown should be screwed in and not loose, but do not grab it and twist super hard because sometimes that can cause that cork to move. Just finger tight, okay? Next, we're gonna go down to this part right here. This is our lip plate. This is actually where it's going to touch and kind of sit on your face, okay? And we'll talk about that placement here in a second. This right here is your tone hole. That is what we're going to blow across to create sound, okay? This right here is the tenon. This is where it connects to the body of the instrument, okay? And so uh, let's talk a little bit about the care and maintenance of the head joint, just a little bit. This is my external polish cloth, okay? This is for the outside of the instrument. I, I can go and I can clean the fingerprints and the grime off of my head joint with this. This one is made specifically for a silver instrument, and you'll notice it's pulling the tarnish off of the instrument, okay? So mine is, is showing that dirt and stuff from over the years. Okay? Your polished cloth should be different from your swab, okay? Your swab should be silk, all right? And to clean the head joint with your swab, you're gonna find this tuning rod piece that is inside or should be inside of your case. It's usually tucked inside of a groove in your case. All right, and you can do one of a couple different things with that. You can take this tuning rod and you can place it up inside, basically drape your swab or your rag over it, kind of gather it up, bring it down, and then you insert that in that open end of the head joint. After you've been playing for a while, and then I just kind of give it a little twist, okay, to get all that moisture out and off and onto that rag and bring it out. Now, if I look inside there and I still see that there's a lot of moisture in there after I've been playing, I can repeat that process. I might find a drier section of the rag. Another thing that you can also do is you can take and thread, you'll notice there's kind of like a little needle end here. You can thread the corner of your swab through there and then kind of tuck it over top and place that up inside the, inst uh, uh, the head joint, okay, and swab it out that way. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about the positioning of our head joint on our face. For right now, I'm gonna leave this end open. So the tenon right here is where I want you to grasp it with your right hand and your left hand at the crown. And I want you to position it so that that tone hole is basically pointing up at the ceiling, okay? Straight up. And you're gonna bring that lip plate in, just like you see me doing, and it's gonna nestle right here in that groove that exists right here underneath your lower lip, okay? And you want it centered up. So I'm gonna kinda lean over so you can see. So that tone hole is still pointing up at the ceiling but it's right in the middle of that lower lip, okay? And your instrument basically is pointing toward the right, toward your right, okay? And so that's how we're gonna position it to play on the face. Now, once we get making sound on the instrument, we may need to adjust it just a slight bit in or out or to the left or to the right. And generally speaking, we want it centered up, but some things that can affect that are like teeth placement, teeth structure, and also your lip structure, um, especially if you have a little dip right here in the middle of the top lip, um, that can sometimes cause your airstream to kind of split and go in two different directions. So sometimes we need to make some adjustments um, 
to the placement of that tone hole so that you get the best possible sound on your face. So once again, this is your head joint.